Now, Mother, what's the matter? Hamlet, thou hast thy father much offended. Mother, you have my father much offended. Oh, come, come. You answer with an idle tongue. Go, go. You question with a wicked tongue. Why, how now, Hamlet? What's the matter now? Have you forgot me? No, by the rude, not so. You are the queen, your husband's brother's wife. And would it were not so, you are my mother. Nay, then, I'll set those to you that can speak. <laughs> Come and sit you down. You shall not budge. You go not till I set you up a glass where you may see the inmost part of you. Oh, I would not do. I would not murder. Help! 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 Oh, now, a rat dead for a ducket. Dead! Why are you just so done? Nay, I know not. Is it the king? And bloody deed is this. A bloody deed almost as bad, good mother, as kill a king and marry with his brother. As kill a king? Aye, lady, it was my word. Oh, wretched, rash, intruding fool, farewell. I took thee for thy better. Take thy fortune. Thou finds to be too busy as some danger. Leave ringing of your hands. Please sit you down and let me wring your heart, for so I shall, if it be made of penetrable stuff. What have I done that thou darest wag thy tongue in noise so rude against me? Such an act that blurs the grace and blush of modesty, calls virtue hypocrite. Makes marriage vows as false as Dicer's own. I mean, what act? Look here upon this picture and on this. The counterfeit presentment of two brothers. See what a grace was seated on this brow. A combination and a form, indeed, where every god did seem to set his seal to give the world assurance of a man. This was your husband. <laughs> Look you now what follows. Here is your husband, like a mildewed ear blasting his wholesome brother. Have you eyes? Could you on this fair mountain leave to feed and batten on this moor? <laughs> Have you eyes? You cannot call it love, for at your age the heyday and the blood is tame, it's humble, and waits upon the judgment. And what judgment would step from this to this? Eyes without feeling, feeling without sight. Oh, shame, where is thy blood? Speak no more. Thou turnst my eyes into my very soul. And there I see such black and grained spots as will not leave their chains. Nay, but to live in the rank sweat of an ensemen bed, stewed in corruption, honey, and making love over the nasty sty. Oh, speak to me no more. These words like daggers entered my ear. No more treat I'm let go. A murderer and a villain. No, no. A cut purse of the no. empire and the rule. No. No. A king of shreds and patches. <laughs> Leave ringing of your hands, peace, sit you down, and let me wring your heart. And so I shall, if it be made of penetrable stuff. What have I done that thou darest wag thy tongue in noise so rude against me? Such an act that blurs the grace and blush of modesty, calls virtue hypocrite, makes marriage vows as false as Dyson's oath. I mean, what act that roars so loud and thunders in the index? Look. 
Here, upon Don't. this picture. And on this. The counterfeit presentment of two brothers. See what a grace was seated on this brow. <gasps> Hyperion's curls. The front of Jove himself. An eye like Mars <gasps> to threaten and command. A station like the Herald Mercury. New lighted on a heaven-kissing hill, a combination and a form indeed where every god did seem to set his seal to give the world assurance of a man. This was your husband. Look you now what follows. Here is your husband. Like a mildewed ear blasting his wholesome brother. Have you eyes? Could you on this fair mountain leave to feed and batten on this moor, ha? Huh? Have you eyes? <gasps> you cannot call it love, for at your age, the heyday in the blood is tame. It's humble and waits upon the judgment. And what judgment would step from this to this? What devil wast that thus had cousined you at Hoodman Blind? Eyes without feeling, feeling without sight, ears without hands or eyes, smelling sounds all, or but a sickly part of one true sense could not so mope. Oh, shame, where is thy blush? Oh, let's speak no more. Thou turnest mine eyes into my very soul, and there I see such black and grained spots as will not leave their dignity. Mm -hmm. But no. to live. In the rank sweat of an enseaming bed. Stewed in corruption, honeying and making love over the nasty stars. Thou speak to me no more, these words like daggers enter in mine ears. No more, sweet Hamlet. A murderer and a villain. A slave that is not twentieth part the tithe of your priesthood and lord, a vice of kings. A cut purse of the empire and the rule, who from a shelf the precious diadem stole and put it in his pocket, a king of shreds and patches. Uh. Save me and hover on me with your wings, you heavenly gods. <laughs>